It's Black Widow Spider time! Hi everybody, Beanmeister22 here. We're going to transfer our last remaining Black Widow Spider. She's old, about two years old, just about. We're going to transfer her into this new spider habitat. I ordered these spider habitats, three of these square cubes, online at Amazon, thinking they were different than what they really are. I got these for some baby tarantulas, and then when I received them, I realized they open from the top and it's just a flat thing, so any spider that's on the ground that zooms around really quick will not work in this cubed habitat. But any type of black widow or brown widow spider like that who wants to hang out in a web, well, as you can see in this video, a habitat like this will be perfect for that spider because I can drop the spider in the upper part and then flip it closed. At least that's the plan. Okay, this is not working. The spider is hanging upside down on the lid of the container. So I'm not going to be, every time I lift that lid off, it tries boogieing towards my fingers. This ain't going to work. So we're going to have to use the tweezers and get her on out of there. Now she's off the lid. I can remove that so we can get down in there. For an older spider, she's awful feisty. She doesn't lay egg sacs anymore. I think it's time for her to breed again. I guess or she's just too old and can't lay the egg sacs. All right, we have a problem here. Some of the extra sticky gooey stuff that the Black Widow makes to stick its prey, she got tangled in it. So she has webs stuck to her. And even if she wanted to come peacefully at this point, there's a little problem. Let's get her into this new habitat. She's dragging a web behind her. That hopefully won't be much of a problem. We need to get her to attach to her stick, which I had to glue in here. And at the end of the video, I will show the setup of this where I had to actually glue gun it. Okay, got a little water dish and let's close it. So she is on her stick. And we need to, this is a little feeder thing on the top, which I thought was kind of a neat idea where I can just open this little feeder thing and drop crickets in there. We'll drop some small pinhead crickets in there. She would prefer bigger ones, but I don't want her eating too much. And the small pinheads is kind of what I have. I guess I have some larger roaches I could feed her. Get the crickets in there, and this will be her new habitat. Now, I don't know how long it's going to take before it becomes just one big uh, web. By giving her these smaller crickets and not feeding her too much, we won't have too many cricket carcasses hanging around in the web. Remember, we're not concerned about that old egg sac laying machine, about feeding her a cricket and turning it into egg sac, because she's not producing egg sacs any longer. And I'm going to set this little temporary lid on here. It's for temporary. Don't worry, the spider's not going to get out, but I just need to put this here until I get a chance to put that rubber stopper back in, because it's a pain. These rubber stoppers don't fit very well. They are super tight. They are hard to get in and out. So I need to get some scissors and clip the little lip in there so it fits in there better. Well, sports fans, there you have it. She has a new habitat. So these habitats, a stick you see in here, these habitats come with a stick. And this is the second habitat I opened. The first one I opened, the stick was... Good and long with a fork in it, so I wedged it on up in there. Probably should have glued it, didn't really think about it, and it was perfectly fine. Well, I open this one, and it comes with this stick, which is way too short to... Yeah, so I had to get a glue gun. I couldn't find my glue gun. I have a rechargeable glue gun. I haven't used it in a decade. So I had to order one from Amazon, same-day delivery. I had to wait for that to arrive to make this stick the way it is now. So as promised, here at the end of the video, I am showing the clip of me setting up this stick. You can see the stick is way too small to actually fit across there on its own. I'm trying to figure out a way to get it in there. So the answer is to glue it. Hold it there for a little bit. Put some glue on the other side. Bam, it's done. All right, let's hope this new Black Widow spider habitat works because it didn't work for a baby tarantula. Leave your comments in the comments section. As always, thanks for watching. Meister 22, the most dangerous man on YouTube.